Hi, welcome to the homework for lesson eight. This is grade two, module two. Write your name first, don't forget it. You wanna get credit for your work. And here's our first question. We're gonna measure line C. Now line C starts here and it ends here. But just because it ends at 26 doesn't mean it's 26 centimeters long because there's all of these 16 centimeters here that we shouldn't count because the line doesn't start back there so we really have to start at the 16 and we could just count starting here at the 16 right and then we'd have one and don't count the numbers make sure you count the spaces in between the numbers because we're counting centimeters not spaces right and you can almost see if I drew a line like this then you'd have cubes and you'd be counting cubes there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? That would be ten. You could also get this by subtraction, right? Because it would be twenty-six. This twenty-six minus the sixteen, and that would be ten if you did that subtraction. Right? Because you um, and then line D. You get a different color for line D just so it's not doesn't get confusing I'll use orange okay so line D starts at the 12 here and it goes to the 19 so if we were going to count the cubes here it would be one two three four five six seven seven or you could take the 19 and subtract the 12 and you would find out the answer to that right here's how you would do that subtraction 19 is 10 9 12 is 10 2 so you've got a 10 here and you're going to subtract a 10 that leaves you with the 9 and the 2 so you have a 9 and you're going to subtract that 2 right because you're subtracting the 12 so you're subtracting this 10 and subtracting that 2 so you can subtract, subtract the tens from each other and subtract the ones from each other. So we have nine minus two, which is seven. Okay, and we have a few more questions here. Lines C and D are, so now we're gonna add them together. And you should, we should get to add them together. We gotta to put them together. So C was 10. And D, well, actually, I should, right? Let me color code it. C is 10, and we're adding D, which was the orange 7. Just playing around with my colors. And that's 10, 7, 17, 17 centimeters. And now we need to know line C is how many centimeters is it longer or shorter than line D? And how many centimeters longer or shorter is it? Well, if C is 10 and D is 7, C has to be longer because 10 is more than 7. So C is longer than D. But how much longer? 10 minus 7. That's the difference between these two numbers, and the difference is also what's left over after you subtract. So we're going to subtract one from the other. 10 minus 7 is 3. You've got to know your parts to 10 there. And that's it's 3 centimeters longer than line D. If you tried to count these, you know, if you if you looked at the picture up here, up here, if you looked at this picture and you tried to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven you get seven instead of three and that doesn't work because you, there's all this space in over here that you can't count because they're not lined up end to end from the beginning so you, you really can't count it that way if you're tempted to do that that's why it, it won't work and now number two we have a broken ruler problem similar to the first one where we have you know the, it's a kind of a cleaner cut ruler but now this looks like a broken ruler here because it's got jagged edges.
And we're starting at we're so we're starting at the ten and ending at the twenty four for this ruler. But let's just read the story first and see what it says. And before I do that, I'm gonna change back to my pink marker. All right. An ant walked. An ant walked twelve centimeters to the right on the ruler. So we have like a little ant. Uh, 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 uh. And he's walking, eh, he's walking along the rule, but he starts here, right? And he's going to go 12 centimeters to the right. This way is to the right. So he's going to go 12 centimeters that way. And that, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. And he stops right here on the 23. Then he turned around and walked. He turned around. And walked five centimeters to the left. So now he's going to go back to the left that way. You got to really read this question carefully, and it's just really just counting. As long as you can do, as long as you do the reading, and you're careful about um, keeping track of what it is you're counting and why you're doing it and what direction you're going in, you're just counting. So it's five to the left, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five. Because he turned around right here, right? He got that far and then he turned around. So this is where he ends up right here. Uh, where is the ant now? Show your work on the broken ruler. And we just did it. We're done. We don't have to do anything else. It says show your work on the broken ruler. But this is, you know what? This is a word problem. So we do have to write down an answer to this question. Where is the ant? Now we do have to say that the ant is... at 18 cm on the ruler. All right, we're ready for the next page. And here we got page two, problem three. All the parts of this path below are equal length units. So what this means is that this part right here, that's a part. Here's another part. There's another part. There's another part. And there's another part. And if this one is three and they're all equal, then these are all threes. So far, not too bad. So A, fill in the empty boxes with the lengths of each side. Done. They're all threes. And let me just erase this a little bit so we can see that three still because I kind of wrote over it and you couldn't see it anymore. Now I have to get my marker back again. Okay. So the path is how many units long? Well, how many threes do we have? We have one, two, three, four. We have five threes. We have to add those all together because if this is three plus three more plus three more plus three more, plus three more. We have to add all those together. So it's one, two, three, four, five, five threes. There, those are all pluses. So uh, how do you add all those threes together? I mean, usually we just see two numbers added together at a time in, a, in an equation. But this time we've got five things. So we just add them up two at a time. And if you know your doubles, this gets a lot easier. So two threes, those two threes are a six. These two threes add up to six. And then we just have, we still have this three right here. So now we have six plus six plus three. And if you know six plus six, then you end up with 12 plus three. So it's 12, 13, 14, 15. You can count up just three more. It's 15 units long. Part C. How many more parts would you need to add for the path to be 21 length units long? So if we have, we have 15. So it, this is how many parts, not how many, um, not how, how many, how much longer it has to be. It's how many parts. So it's, what is this? How many th more threes do we have to add to 15 to get to 21? 
So let's try it. Let's just keep adding threes until we get to 21. 15 plus three, that's 16, 17, 18, right? That's 18. So that's one three, right? So then we need 18 plus three more is 19, 20, 21. That's what we want, the 21. We had to add two more threes, right? So it's two more parts. Two more parts. It's six units longer, but it's two more parts. And that's the question is, um, how many more parts do you need to add? That's what's asking. So be careful that you answer what the question's asking in that one. And our last one is the length of a picture. The length of a picture is 67. We're working in centimeters still. The width, the width of the picture is 40. So when you're drawing, a pictures are usually rectangles, right? So, and here's the thing about length and width is usually, this is the way you think of it. The longer side right here, this side is longer than that. For a rectangle, we know that this, the, the bottom part here is going to be the same as the top because opposite sides of a rectangle are the same. So we're talking about length here because it's the longer side. That's the length. I'll write L. And this is the width because it's not the length. <laughs> w. That's how wide it is. L is how long. W is how wide. So the length is 67. So we know that this is 67. And we know that the width is 40. And these are centimeters. Don't forget it. So the question is, now we have our, we drew our picture, right? This is word problem. It's R, D, W. We read it. Done. We drew it. Done. And now we need to know. Now we have to write our number sentence and write our answer statement. So how many more centimeters is the length than the width? So how much more is 67 than 40? And if you wanted to draw a tape diagram to figure this out, you could, but we already have a picture. And maybe you already know. We have to find that, you know, how many more exactly is we have to subtract to find the difference between these two numbers. Difference is what's left over after you subtract. So what's the difference between 67 and 40? 67 minus 40. Well, 67 is 60 and 7, right? That's just place value. If we're going to subtract 40, we can get the 40 out of the 60, right? That's four tens. So if you want to think of 60, if you had to draw this out, you could do it this way. So this will work for even for numbers down, you know, under 100. So 60 is what? It's one, two, three, four five, six quick tens, right? And we're going to subtract 40. That means we're going to cross out 10, 20, 30, 40. We, that's 40, right? So these we cross out and then we have those two tens left and we still have that seven. So that's 10, 20 and the seven, 20 and seven, it's 27. And some of you may already be looking at the digits and thinking, Six minus four is two in the tens, and we've got seven minus zero in the ones, and that's seven. That doesn't always work. <clears throat> it only works if you have more ones than you're subtracting to begin with. But this number bond strategy here will will usually work. That will that it's it's more reliable. So twenty seven. We just have to write our answer. Um, the Length is more, right? So the length is 27 cm more than the width.